Good morning, YouTubers. Today's topic, caring for the poor and needy, according to the Bible. Uh, I want to thank Nick Fewings from Unsplash that gave us this picture. And I also want to thank the Urban Ministry of Oklahoma City for the script compiling all the scriptures, all the witnesses for caring for the poor and the needy in the Bible. My favorite quote is something I'd like to start with. Uh, it's from David Platt, and it says, Caring for the poor is one natural overflow and a necessary evidence of the presence, presence of Christ in our hearts. If there is no sign of caring for the poor in our lives, then there is reason to at least question whether Christ is in our lives. I totally agree with that. Uh, the witnesses, the two witnesses that we always talk about, you have to have at least two witnesses for anything to be true. Stop, cop, copy, paste, do whatever you want to with these scriptures. It is very important in the Bible because there's so many, so, so many. And the more there are, the more important it is. He doesn't want poor among us. So all of us that believe in Yeshua and want to follow his ways, I'm hoping someday that I can join a community and I can, you know, share my talents and share all that I have with them. That's something that we need to do. It used to be with the way. They called it the way. Um, back then after Yeshua left and they shared all their substance. We read a little bit about it in the book of Acts. So it's very important. And we don't do that today. And that's sad. So also want to uh, encourage you that there's so many ways we can help the poor at the my workplace what we crochet can't you know scarves mittens hats and donate clothing for the homeless shelter and we donate food yearly for the for the homeless shelter people that's one way you can go and volunteer your time if you don't have the financial means to do it there's so many things your neighbor your elderly people they're always in need of help. So, the, you know, the sky's the limit. You're only limited by your imagination. And in closing, I want to read you this quote. Yehovah will lead you where he wants you to be, but you have to talk to him daily to see where he wants you to go. The key is prayer. So please pray about it and enjoy. Because that's the best way to get out of depression is to help someone else in need. Jehovah be with you. Thank you for stopping by.